welcome back to my channel or hi if you are new. This is going to be my March setup for my bullet journal. So I'm just going to start off with my title page which is really simple and it's just going to say hello March and I've drawn some leaves around the outside. This month I decided to do quite a minimalist setup so it didn't really take that long and there's not a lot of colouring involved. I've left most of the drawings I believe uh, black and white. So after my title page, I'm going to be setting up my weekly spreads. So I've just counted five dots in from the left and drew a line and I'm just going to title this March 2019. I then added a little tab on the side and my tabs are two dots wide by six dots long. And then I'm just going to draw four boxes on this double page and then just splitting them in the middle with a dotted line. You want to make sure that you've counted five dots in from your right page as well to make them even. Now I'm just going to label them Monday through to Sunday and then you have a box left over which I'm going to be using as a habit tracker for the week but you can use it for a note section or you can use it for important goals that you want to achieve. You can use it for anything that you want. I decided to add some vines around where I'm going to be writing the date and then on the other side I'm going to be drawing a line like we did on the left hand page and I'm also going to be creating another tab but making sure that my tab is lower down than on the left side. So as I said my tabs are six dots long so I've just moved it down another six. So on the next page I'm doing the exact same thing but I'm making sure I move my tab down another six dots. And then on the left side, you just trace through what you drew on the other side because you'll be able to see it if you're using pen. I've left all of my weekly spreads black and white, but you can, of course, add some colour. I do add some colour onto the tabs in a little while, but you can colour the leaves if you really want to, or maybe do a nice drop shadow in a colour. I varied each week just so it looked a little bit different so I've got different writing and different leaves or different vines. And then flipping back to the first page I'm just going to be making sure I label the dates onto the tab so the left tab will tell me what the week is that I'm on and then the right tab will tell me what the next week is. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off the area around the tabs on the right side. I do like to leave a little bit of a space so the black line is still there because I think it just finishes it off and looks nicer. Now I'm just going to take an array of green pens as I chose green for March. And then once I coloured them in I'm just making sure that the right dates are on the tabs. This way it makes it super easy if I need to flick to a certain date. I can see it on the tabs really quickly and just flick to where I need to. So if I need to add an appointment in or if there's something in particular I'm looking for on a certain date, I can just use the tabs to quickly find the date that I need. When you come to the last page, you don't need to cut off the excess. So I just labeled it weekly spreads. I'm going to do a quote page. I always love to include quotes in my bullet journal and the pen that I'm using is the Diablo. I never know how to say that properly but I'm going to leave the link down in the description box to where I purchased mine. But I wanted to use a quote that had something to do with leaves for March and I found this one on Pinterest that says don't forget to drink water and get some sun. You're basically a houseplant with more complicated emotions. Which for me is so true because unless I'm physically going out to work I forget that I should leave the house. I'm either doing my YouTube channel or I'm doing my Etsy shop or I'm doing orders or I'm designing and sometimes I can go days without leaving the house. So this is a good reminder for myself that I just need to take some time, drink some water, especially because I'm not very good at keeping up with my water intake and get outside, get some fresh air and get some sun. 
For the next page I created a simple box which I'll be cutting out similar to like what we done with the weekly spreads and then I'm going to title this when did I last. I thought this would be a really good spread to kind of flip back through throughout the entire year and keep track of when I last did things that I necessarily don't do in my normal cleaning routine or that I actually remember to do. So I created a big habit tracker and I've just labelled the months at the top and I've coloured them in green and then on the left side I'm just going to be writing in the things that I want to check when I last did. It can be something silly like hoovering under your sofa which I have got on here because we've got a really big corner sofa and unless I remember I've actually got to drag everything out and hoover under it. I miss it quite often so this way I'll be able to check when I last did something. But you can also have it for more sensible or important things such as checking your smoke alarms and also changing your toothbrushes, flipping your mattresses or putting air in your car tyres. I mean you can put absolutely anything on here and then you flip back and you can see when you last done it and then you can just check it off when you've done it. And then I felt like I didn't need a third page for me to track things so I decided to create a battery list and I can just write down what items takes what batteries and I can quickly see which batteries that I need to buy when I'm out because I always end up picking up double A. We seem to have a bazillion double A batteries yet most things take triple A so <laughs> this way I can keep track of what item takes what batteries and it'll be easier to keep my stock of batteries uh, this might be weird feel free to leave this out of your spread <laughs> so I didn't create a big monthly calendar for March and that is because at the beginning of my bullet journal I've actually got the years calendars already there so I can write any tasks and events and birthdays there rather than have a monthly calendar every month So I'm just going to give you a quick flip through of how the March spread turned out. I know by doing double dutch doors it doesn't look very minimalist and I know some people are a bit frightened to cut their bullet journal but I like how minimalist I did do this. It's not very intricate, there's not a lot of colours and it's just to the point and what I need for my bullet journal spread. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope you are having an amazing day and I will speak to you next time. Bye guys!